Hi there, Ian here, and today I've got my tutorial on how to motion track in After Effects. Uh, my last video was uh, releasing some templates for you, uh, which you can find here. Um, as you can see, this is the kind of thing we'll be going to be making today. As you can see, it kind of zooms in and the text goes in with it. The lights track as well. Um, I'm just going to teach you kind of how to do this in After Effects. There's no 3D motion tracking at all. All of it's using this um, built-in plugins for After Effects, so you don't need to download anything more. And so we'll just jump in here now. So as you can see, I've opened up After Effects and I've just brought in um, my cinematic that I used last time. And to get it into the timeline, just drag it down here and it will automatically make a composition with your scene in. Now as you can see the camera just moves uh, through it uh, very easily um, in a smooth motion and what we're going to do is put some tracking points on this and then After Effects will automatically analyse it and kind of guess how the camera moves. Um, it's very easy to do, and the first thing you want to do is just right click down here, go to New and Null Object, and I'm just going to name this Tracking Data. And you can just shut that off by pressing the I here, just so you can't see it, um, otherwise there will be a red box. And the next thing you want to do is just click on your cinematic go to Window Tracker and then down in the bottom right here we have our track motion um, and all we want to do is click track motion and check position and scale and these two track points will come up now what we want to do is to make this easier you can press um, the little squiggly line um, on your keyboard on a Mac it's to the left of the Z and what that does is just makes this window full screen uh, just so it's a bit easier to work with um, and then we can zoom in a bit more and what we want to do is place these over objects which we think will uh, be in the scene the entire time and are going to be quite easy to track so I'm going to move the tracking point 1 over this light box here and if we zoom in I'm just going to make the box a bit smaller on both of these and so it can't move around as much. So basically the outside box is where it will move around in each time and it's looking for it within um, this box here. And the other tracking point I'm going to put on this light here and again just make the boxes a bit smaller. Um, so it doesn't wiggle around too much and when you're done we can zoom out press the squiggly line again to bring everything back and then all we have to do is press the play button and as you can see these are sticking to the object well which means it's going to be quite a good track they're moving around a bit but it's not too big an issue and it'll be done in just a second there we are, and you can see it's automatically cre uh, created all of these keyframes which it moves along in. Just make this fit to 100%. And all we want to do now is go to apply and hold on, first of all, just make sure that the target here is to your null object, which I call tracking data. So that's fine. Then click apply, apply dimensions X and Y. And you can see we have hundreds of keyframes here. And this is our tracking data basically. It won't look any different for now. Um, but if we have the red box on, you can see this sticks perfectly to that light. And so you can tell this has worked so far. Now the next thing is to bring in some text. This can be whatever you want. I'm just going to call it text because it's incredibly original. And just move this to wherever you want. And you can 
play about with it. You can have it whatever you want. I'll just change it to um, light rather than ultra light, just so it's a bit uh, easier to see. And then the next thing you need to do is just grab this parent uh, squiggly line and just drag it over to tracking data, or you can click down on here and select tracking data there. And when we play through it here, you can see straight away the text moves with the objects. Now, the other things I did um, was create an adjustment layer, and then in effects, just uh, put a letterbox over it just so it looks um, a bit more professional. I always use 2.4 for this kind of thing, uh, it's a very cinematic uh, view. Um, and it just makes it look a bit better. Um, for the lights, which I did, uh, that was very simple as well. Just create a new solid, make sure it's black. Drag it below your adjustment layer here and change the mode from normal to add. And then I'm using optical flares and just drag that onto your black solid and move this over the light here. Now for the actual flares all I did was clear this to begin with so just cl click clear all then just put a glow and a streak on and I did turn down the brightness to about 60% and you can just zoom in here pressing H will bring up the hand so you can move it around and V will bring you back so just place it roughly over the light here. Um, as long as it's at the start, just again drag this little thing over to the tracking data. And as you can see, we have a flare which automatically scales and moves with it. And then I just duplicated it, moved it across to the other light over here. And then we had the two lights which moved in and out of the scene. Um, so that's pretty much a tutorial. Um, it's very simple to do when uh, well, when you know how. Um, sometimes it doesn't work so smoothly, other times it works really well like this. Um, if it doesn't work so well it's probably because you haven't chosen a point on your scene which uh, the tracker can easily track because maybe it's too similar to surrounding areas. Um, so just play about with it and you'll get one which works really well. I'm really, uh, this is a really good one to play about with. Uh, if you wish to download the other scenes that I did, um, they're in my uh, old video which I'll link in the description here. Um, other than that, please just uh, click like, especially if you did follow this tutorial. Um, and make sure to subscribe. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.